Good afternoon, everyone. This is the TradingPub.com daily report, and we apologize for the delay. It's actually going to be a midday report today, uh, but again, uh, we'll get through this and get it posted on the website uh, very soon. i uh, give you a, a quick risk disclaimer. Again, we're not making any kind of recommendations, just sharing our thoughts on the market. going to give you some key levels to watch and take a look at uh, a couple of different markets. The trading pub rule of the day is if you risk it, make sure to get the biscuit. There's a saying, you know, you've got to risk it to get the biscuit. And we actually did a blog post on that a while back talking about risk and reward. And one thing that we, we see a mistake a lot of traders make is that they take the risk, they get into the trade, they put their stop in, and then as soon as they get up a couple ticks on the trade, they either bail the trade or raise their stop to break even and end up getting stopped out at break even. Well, what that ends up uh, doing is that you take big losses when you're wrong, but when you're right, you're making pennies. So again, uh, you never want to lose uh, dollars and make dimes or anything like that. It makes it very hard to win in trading. So again, it's extremely important to understand that, that over the long haul, you've got to have good profitable trades in order to successfully trade. So a big mistake a lot of people make, they get in a trade, they take a risk, they don't really set a target beforehand or have any idea what they're going to do when the trade goes their way and end up not capitalizing on it. So if you're going to take the time, if you're going to take the risk of the trade, make sure you end up getting the reward as well or putting yourself in a position to get some of the reward. So again, extremely important. Another thing to remember, Despite what's happened the past few days, the market does not tend to just go up in a straight line forever. There are pullbacks along the way. So it can be very important and beneficial to take targets along the way at certain key points. So again, that's the Trading Pub rule of the day, and hope uh, that you enjoyed that. And now the two charts that we're going to look at, we're going to take a look at the S&P and then the Swiss franc. And just kind of looking at the S&P, I'm going to pull up a daily chart. We've had some pretty strong moves to the upside, and since then, We've started to see a little bit of consolidation the past past day, um, or towards the end of the end of yesterday. But if you look, we mentioned on the video yesterday that 1216 to 1220 was a big area. We've got the blog post there uh, that we put out yesterday morning. If you notice, look look here, we had 1220, 1215, 1216, 1215, 1216 again, and so that's how we knew coming into yesterday that that would be a big area. Yesterday we rallied and we came up to a high right at 16, maybe 16 quarter. And, and the market, it was like it hit a brick wall. Now, we didn't know for a fact that the market would top out at that point and be the high of the day. What we did know is the market's shown us in the past there's resistance at 16, there's resistance at 16, so we know if we go up there again, there's going to be resistance there. And you saw a good example of that. That's why it's important to understand, even if you're a day trader, to understand what the market's been doing in important areas of support and resistance from the past. The market definitely has a memory. Now, as far as today goes, you can see, and I'm going to flip to a to a 30-minute chart just to kind of get a get a feel for the flow of the day. Uh, it's been a pretty negative day so far. It was negative in the Globex. We did have one little pop up here to 1204. Again, 1204 is another number that we focused on uh, earlier this week. So again, we came up to 1204. We saw that as an important number earlier this week. Once again, it was an important number today. And if you go back and watch some of the old videos, you'll see these numbers keep popping up and popping up. So extremely important to watch the market and understand what happened. We came down based around 90 to 92, popped back up to 96, came back down to 92, popped back up to 96. Again, a lot of the consolidation I was talking about that we've seen today. We actually came down to a low around 85, Popped back up to 92, 92 half, came back down a little bit, and rallied back up and actually went to 98 on that last move. So I think 96 is probably a pretty good pivot to use right now as far as uh, the rest of the day goes. So watch that 96 area. We'll have support at 92, 89, and then 87. To the upside, if we can get through 96, we'll have some resistance up here at 98, and then get them above 1200. 1204 would be a big target to watch. That 04 to 06, a big target to watch the upside. Uh, in the event of an afternoon rally. Next thing I wanted to focus on, just the Swiss franc. Uh, it had a brutal move here. Uh, if you re read our blog, uh, you know that I was uh, part of this move to the long side, which was not very comfortable and um, something that I regret being a part of. But again, that's trading this way it happens. But we had the big drop here uh, where the Swiss franc dropped from 128 down to about 117. We continued lower, continued lower, continued lower. And so you see this has kind of been stair-stepping its way down. Well, it's important to watch here. We've started to base a little bit, and it's going to be important to see if we can get above this 112 area. So that's a key area that I'm going to be watching in the Swiss franc is the 112 area. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to remind you about the next event at the Trading Pub, which is today at 4 o'clock. We've actually got a double header with two great speakers. I'm going to be interviewing one, and then the second, a good friend of mine, will be educating on support and resistance trading. So you can go to tradingpub.com and click on Pub Events uh, to view or join that event. Cheers and good trading.